speed and power of processing, computers are increasing in terms of processing speed. Hi guys, let's look at uh, how you can customize your how you can customize your currency as per your country. Like for example, if you look at this database here, we are using Nigerian Naira here. This is Nigerian Naira. But uh, because of one reason or the other, you may wish to have your country's uh, currency in that even if you copy this database to a new computer, you still get the new uh, currency. So you have to set this one in the form. You can also set this one in the table. So basically, I will show you how to set them in the table. I will also show you how to set them in the, that is in the form. So guys, here we have this child table. I just go to design view. Now, once I go to design view, you realize that, uh, like for instance, I have the, let me first of all cross this master form. If I go to this table here, if this one will allow me to do the zoom, uh, zoom, zoom it. So uh, you realize that if I go to this table here, I go to design view of this table. Like for example, I want to work on this form. That is the wrong form here. I need to change this one to uh, something like uh, uh, Uganda shillings or Tanzania shillings or something different. So guys, what I need to do, I just hit the, for the point I want. I want to change the wrong form. Then I just go down here. Once I go down here, I need to type uh, double quotes. Then I put the currency symbol. Like for example, I want this one to be Uganda shillings. So here, or Kenya shillings. You see it was Nigerian Naira. So I just come here and type Kenya shillings, the ones I want, Kenya shillings, like that. Then it should be followed by hash, comma, uh, three hash, that means there would be three digits. If I need four digits, I can add the four hash then dot, uh, then we, we shall have the, that is the dot zero zero. So this is basically what I need to do. So I can just now copy this, this one. Then I go to the next field. I need the next field to be uh, wrong repayment. So I just now paste it there. Remember, uh, once I have zoomed for you have seen, it, it should be something like, um, it should be, uh, Kenya shillings, then once we have the Kenya shillings, we shall have the, that is, whatever you want should be in added quotes, then hash, comma, uh, three hash, that is to, to denote three values, dot zero, zero, zero. So guys, once I do that, I also need to go to the investment, this one field here. I also paste the same and save. So guys, once I do that, I can, that is how you accomplish it using the, the form. So on the other hand, let's go to, the, uh, sorry, the table, let's go to the form. Once I go to the form now, this is my form in design view. Now if I run it, you realize that um, uh, these ones are still in Nigerian Naira but I need them to be in Kenya shillings or in your country's currency. You can see also down here we have Nigeria Naira. So what you need to do is to go to design view, then you go to the field that you want to work on. I want to work on the, the fields here. So I first of all go uh, to the fields I need here. So I need to remove these ones until I get, I need this for one, I, I remove the ones I don't need. I, I need that one. I also don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. I need those three. So guys, here I have to populate the 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 properties sheet. So I I populate the property sheet by right clicking on this point. Then go to property sheet. This is the property sheet. So in the property sheet, I click on the investment tab then here i go to all then format you see now here it is set to nigerian naira 
So I paste Kenya shillings. That is uh, double quotes. Kenya shillings should be in double quotes. Then hash comma three hash dot zero zero. If you need to be zero 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 zero, you can add another zero there. So guys, I go there again to the this one. I also now paste my format there. I also again go to the other form. I also paste my format there. So once I do that, I save my work. Control S. So now if I return this one here, I, if I close this, if I now return these ones the way they were, they were one on top of the other, like that. One on top of the other. Remember, my key point here is to show you how to set the currency so that even if you copy that database to a new machine, it will still remain the same. It will still remain the same. It will not change the currency to the computer's uh, custom or set currency. So see what happens. Guys, once I do that, I also need to have this one set. So I go again to this point, right click, go to property sheet, take this here. So I go again to f uh, uh, or. Here, I need to go to where format is, format, so I click on this point. Here where there is Nigerian Naira, I type, I paste whatever I want. Here wherever there is Nigerian Naira, I want Kenya shillings. Here I also, I remove the Nigerian Nairas, I put Kenya shillings. Also here, I need this one to be in Kenya shillings. Guys, once you do that, you save your work. Then once I do that, I can remove this one. And then again, go to save home, run. There we are, guys. You realize that now I have set my currency to Kenya shillings from Nigeria Naira. And this one will not really affect whatever I do. You see down here, it is Kenya shillings. Here it is Kenya shillings. Here it is Kenya shillings, Kenya shillings, Kenya shillings. Guys, you realize that uh, database programmers get a lot of problems. Whereby you program a system for somebody using the default set currency of the system and gives them headache whenever they go and copy that database to another machine. So guys, that's how you set your currency to make sure that it doesn't change. Whenever you go to even another machine, you realize that the system still takes the currency that you have set. Guys, Remember to subscribe for me, remember to share, remember to come back and see what's new. Thank you very much.